now in New Jersey. Powered by Tap Into. Brought to you by Lakeland Bank. Thanks for joining us on this Friday, March 18th. I'm Christina Bear. After being left jobless because of the pandemic, an opportunity arose. Two local residents decided to follow their dreams and open up their own business, a deli on Hamilton Boulevard. Tap into South Plainfield publisher Darlene Cullen has the inspiring story. One of the owners, Chris Patel from Edison, he always had a dream of going into business for himself mm -hmm. and owning his own business, following his father and grandfather's footsteps who own their own business. So they were looking throughout New Jersey for a good spot and they stumbled across the corner, what used to be called the Corner Deli in South Plainfield. And they thought it would be a perfect opportunity for both of them to fulfill their dreams of owning their own businesses. What impressed me the most is they're really hands-on owners. They want to be at the store every single day. They're taking turns. Mm -hmm. um, this morning when I stopped by, they were greeting everyone by name. They wow. knew the orders. And to me, in, in this day and age, it's very impressive and it's very good business. The store is completely renovated. So everything from the lighting, the shelving, the configuration of the store, they redid. And it took them some time. They, they purchased the property in November of 2021. They did a soft opening. And they are going to be doing the official opening on Saturday, March 26th. They are also offering, um, not just at the grand opening, but, you know, from now on, all the first responders can have free coffee throughout the day. Wow. Um, there's discounts for our educators in South Plainfield, you know, for their lunch. They're open for breakfast and lunch, and they are also going to be doing some catering. So it sounds like they're, you know, not only fulfilling their dream, but they're kind of giving back to the community as well. Absolutely. And they want to be very involved in our community. Um, when they first reach out to tap into, they wanted to know how to get involved. Um, they spoke to our economic um, developer who is on council, Derek White. And he gave them some insight as well, because many of the businesses support, you know, the Little League, the Girl Scouts, the Boy Scouts, they get involved with everything that goes on in the town. We still have one of the largest Labor Day parades, and they want to be an active member of our community. To check out more of the story, head to tap into South Plainfield. Patterson students will soon be able to receive the COVID-19 vaccine at school. Tap into Patterson reports that through a partnership with the New Jersey Department of Health, COVID-19 vaccines will be made available to eligible Patterson public school students at 11 school sites on dates throughout April and May. The NJDOH's rapid mobile response team will provide the vaccines. Camden's mayor declares open season on potholes. According to Tap into Camden, city leaders announced a new roadway improvement initiative that includes a $22 million project to rehab 7th Street in North Camden. The Camden County Highway Department has so far filled more than 1,200 city potholes since December and used over 90 tons of asphalt in just the past nine weeks. Up next, Plainfield experiences a funk like no other. A special visit from a music icon. My name is Christina and I just recently purchased a home. Before working with Lakeland Bank, I was working with another mortgage company. I felt like I was getting the runaround a little bit and it felt a lot more like buying a car than buying a home. The mortgage representative from Lakeland Bank was very knowledgeable in their field and their expertise was clear in the conversations that we had over the phone. The home buying process can be very stressful and difficult and I felt very confident with Lakeland Bank knowing that I could trust them and that they would be with me every step of the way. Welcome back. Plainfield got a little funky on Thursday. Before Parliament Funkadelic takes the stage at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark, George Clinton stopped by the 2nd Street Youth Center in Plainfield to meet with city leaders and children. Tap into Plainfield reports that Clinton was raised in the Queen City. Meantime, Plainfield City Council voted Monday to ceremoniously designate a portion of Plainfield Avenue from Front Street to West 5th Street as Parliament Funkadelic Way. Clinton thanked both Newark and Plainfield on social media for, quote, giving P-Funk the warmest, funkiest welcome ever. To reach Tap Into's large local audience, visit tapintomarketing.net. Thanks for joining us. This has been Now in New Jersey, powered by Tap Into, sponsored by Lakeland Bank.